Hello Moving Cubers. Today I want to talk about the next big thing on Moving Cube and it's the brand new interface, the edition interface of Moving Cube. So the thing is that we've been working on this new interface for I think for three years now or four years and two years ago we released an alpha version of the new interface uh, but because of the blackout of the administration process that we've been immersed in the last 18 months, we froze the project. Okay, but now, uh, as you, uh, as I told you in another video, we are out of that process. So Moving Cube is relaunching again and stronger than ever. So we are going to give priority on finishing this new interface. Okay, um, I hope maybe in uh, several months it will be available. Uh, I mean, not av available because it's available now, but it will totally replace the classic interface of Moving Cube. Okay, so in this video, I want to show you how to start using the new interface. It's not finished, and there are some features that uh, need to be finished, but you can use it to add some functionalities that cannot be included um, using the classic interface of Moving Cube. Okay, so if you want to use it, you can go to front.movingcube.com um, and I, it's front.movingcube.com and use the same user and password that of your account. Okay, I'm going to do it with this account. And I want to talk about the, the idea and the philosophy of this new interface. So you know that the classic Moving Cube, it's very web-like interface. Okay, so in order to do different things, you have to change and navigate from one page to another. For example, if you want to change the icon, you, want, you need to go to info, or if you want to edit the, the app, you, want, you need to go to edit or publish. I mean, there are different sections on the website. So it's really um, the look and feel of the interface is very, very web-based, right? So we wanted to do something different and have everything in the same place. So you don't have to navigate from one page to another. Okay, so what you're seeing right now on the screen is this new interface and here you can see everything in the same place. So everything is accessible through this menu on the top. Okay. And also the idea was to make it very intuitive. Okay, so we have two things in mind when developing this interface. First thing is we want to save your time. Okay, we want to make Moving Cube much faster to create the apps and much more intuitive for you. So you have all the options available. Okay, and the other mission for us when building this new interface is that uh, we wanted to provide much more functionalities, okay? So in Moment you have a bunch of functionalities, you can combine them to create your app. But in this new stage of Moment Cube, we wanted to be much faster creating those functionalities for you. Um, so the idea is that we are going to open a marketplace so that third party developers will be able to develop new functionalities of Moving Cube. So you will be able to use those functionalities. It's something like in WordPress, when you use templates from other developers to include in your website. Uh, so the thing is that this new thing of Moving Cube will be something like that. Okay, so other people will be developing functionalities and you will be able to use those functionalities. So in this new interface, um, we have some of the functionalities of the classic Moving Cube. Um, for example, you can edit detailed screens, you can add images, text, videos, things like that. And now you have much more functionalities, which are considered like add-ons of Moving Cube. For example, you can use um, a login screen in your app, you can use chats, you can use a virtual reality, you can have some some landing uh, sliders, things like that. Okay, so they are all here and you can just drag and drop them. Okay, but first let me introduce the, the, the general interface. So basically you will always see the, the, the screen you are edit, editing. You have this mobile phone here, I mean this representation, and here's where you are going to drop all the elements. Okay, then you have some panels 
Uh, here you have the screens panel, the elements panel, and the element properties panel. From this window menu, you can close them in case you don't need them. Okay, so the screen is much more simple. Okay, um, and there are some things that we wanted to make easy. For example, if you want to change the icon, you just go to this corner, you click, and here you will be able to drag and drop your, your icon. So we wanted to do things much more intuitive, like editing the, the name of the app. You just click here and you change the name or even the screen you are editing. Okay. And adding screens and everything. I mean, when uh, we wanted to be yourself, the one that finds every new thing. And even if you don't know how to add a screen, um, it's going to be intuitive because you didn't know that if you want to add a screen, you go, you see this screens menu. So you think that is there, right? So you click here and click new. Okay. And that way you're creating a new screen. Okay. And the new interface is much faster. So you can switch screens very easily. If they are open, you can just switch from here. Let me show you, I can drag and drop an image. Okay, and after you add an element, you see this new panel here, element properties. And from here, you can change the things you used to change in the classic interface. But you can also use the graphic interface here on the mobile phone to change the size or even positions, things like that. Well, not positions, okay. And also for creating tables, it's much easier. You just drag and drop next to the element and you create a table okay and for removing elements you just need to drag and drop them out of the screen okay so yeah we wanted to do this much more intuitive and also there's a, some new things that you can only use in this new interface uh, for example you can change to landscape mode okay you if you are editing editing this screen you can go to this menu then properties and change to landscape mode okay this is brand new for the new interface um well and then there are some other things like these add-ons i told you okay so if you want to let's say um have a login screen you find here some tools and you drag and drop this login screen okay and there, there will be one thing that you will realize that you remember that I had an image in this screen. So when I dropped the login screen, the image uh, was gone. Okay. So the thing is that uh, remembering the classic moving cube, when you create a new screen, you have first to decide the type of screen it is. And after that, you cannot change the type of screen. So the thing is that in the new interface, we are getting rid of that concept of type of screen. So when you create a new screen, you don't need to select the type. You just drag and drop elements. Um, and in case you drag and drop some element that requires full screen, okay, it will tell you, for example, if I drag and drop this one, it will tell me that it requires the full screen. So if there's content on, on this screen, that content will be gone, okay? And if, if you are calling this screen from other screens, you won't change the reference, okay? So you won't, I, I mean, in the, in the classic interface, if you had a, a detailed screen and a lot of screens link into that screen, and at some point you decided that you wanted that screen to be a database and not a de detailed screen, you had to create a new screen, uh, set it as a database screen, and then change the links in all your app to point to the new screen, okay? So in the new interface is different. Uh, you just change the con content of the screen and all the links to that screen will remain the same, okay? So it's going to be much easier for you to edit apps um yeah and i guess that's pretty much all i mean it's very intuitive you have all the options here on the menu uh, today I, I didn't want to to show you all of them but it's going to be much more intuitive for you and i just wanted to tell one more thing and this is very very important um the thing is that if you want to start trying this new interface 
you should be really careful and not work in the same app at the same time with both interfaces. Okay, so I mean, if you are editing your app in the classic Mobbing Cube and you want to change to the new interface to add a login screen, for example, first you should close the classic interface, log out from there, then open a new session in, in front.mobbingcube.com, add the new screen, add the login screen and um, configure it. Then close the new, new interface, go back to the classic interface and keep editing your app. Okay, because the thing is that if you try to edit the same app at the same time in both interfaces, you can break something in the database. Okay, so your, your app will or your app might start having some errors. Okay, so that's very important. I mean, there are a lot of users using this new interface, but only for adding these new features like the login, the chat, things like that. Okay, so remember that it's very important. Do not work in the in both interfaces at the same time. Okay, um, yeah, and I, I don't want to explain more. I will keep doing more videos about some of the things of this new interface. Okay, but today I just wanted to give you a preview of it and invite you to start using it. Okay, so yeah, uh, subscribe to this channel on YouTube and you will be notified every time I, I send a new video talking about some specific functionalities. Okay, so yeah, enjoy it. Bye.